hello guys welcome to my channel this is shafi and yes today we are talking about how to edit a photograph in your iphone so today we are talking about how this photograph so this is after i edit the image so if i see the original so this is the original shot this is original and after i edit this so we'll talk about how i edit this photograph in iphone so let's see some of the options uh, first thing is try to do the auto auto gives you very less but not more than that the next option if you see exposure so what is exposure exposure is something the in the the brightness this is called this is there is, a, there is a, another option called brightness but this exposure what it does is brightness will increase only the bright areas so uh, exposure will increase even the black areas also so if it is very dark so if it is very dark areas if you increase the exposure so dark areas are also becoming white that is called the exposure so we will increase the exposure to 27 percent 20, 20 30 let's keep it to 26 27 so i want the clouds to be visible so let's next is brilliance brilliance is something which is increases the color intensity so uh, if we see the color is increasing we will we'll come back to the brilliance so this is very interesting so highlights highlights is if you see my skin so this because of i'm sweating and if you see this is these are the highlights so wherever the light is so i got uh, the other side shadow and the shadow is covering with yellow light so if you see this this black end these are called shadows so because of the light i'm getting these shadows so these shadows so if you, if you have these shadows and the highlights so if you want more highlights so increase the highlights so i'm increasing the highlights to 82 percent and let's go to shadows so i as I said, shadows are these things because of the light, it causes shadows. So shadows, sometimes you get the hard shadows. If you see, if you see my video, I'm using one light, so I'm getting a hard shadows here. So I can, you can see those hard shadows. So even if it, when you take the photographs, you see shadows on the other side. So you can reduce the shadows. So when you reduce the shadows, you get more exposure. And the contrast, yes. So contrast is something, uh, so whatever the, so you have blacks, you have, you have highlights, you have shadows. So what contrast does is if it is a subtle gray, so gray color, when you increase the contrast, so that gray color become black. And if you have, I mean darkish gray color will become dark, I mean darkish gray color will become black and lightish gray color will become white. That, that's how the contrast works. So we'll increase the contrast to little bit. So we'll increase the contrast to, I'll, I'll actually decrease the contrast because I wanted to see those clouds. So see, so I'm, when I'm decreasing the clouds, the clouds are visible. So that's how it works. And the brightness, yes, this is the brightness is. So total overall brightness of your picture, it will increase the brightness. So I will decrease the brightness because I have reduced, I have increased the contrast, so I am decreasing the brightness. So these are all combination of editing. So black points, see, especially black points works like uh, wherever the black points. If you, in this picture, if you say black points are my hair, the goggles are very a little black and t-shirt where patches, those are black points. Even in the background, if you see, those are little poles those are all black points so i can increase them see if you increase those so those black points will increase so i will little increase those and saturation is something increases all the colors so whatever colors are there in your picture and you when you increase the contrast i mean when you increase the saturation it will increase all the colors to if it is a lightish red, it will become red. So that's how it works. So I will increase the saturation and 
vibrance so so we already have saturation got increased so saturation will increase the colors then vibrance will increase depth of the colors so if you see saturation got increased when i increase the vibrance it also increasing the shadows of the sh shadows and highlights of those colors so i did little bit vibrance not very light and this is warmth warmth is something is your color temperature so if i see see if i goes to the minus value so you will get it bluish kind of a thing so blue shades of so when you center it it's normal so i'll go further it gives you the yellow so it gives a total yellow tint i can say so yellow tint and blue tint so warmth that that way i do work so in if it is uh sunlight and a daylight kind of stuff uh when if it is evening when the sun is going down you will get that yellow lights and it is afternoon you will get that white blue white light so that's called the warm so so i'll put a little bit yellowish so again tint is also tint will give you different kind of colors like this is a green tone this is something coming to blue red more red so kind of stuff so if you have any photo which you want a dramatic uh, dramatic kind of stuff you can play with tint effect so i'll put this little greenish and sharpness you all know sharpness is sharpness so it will increase or each and individual uh, points each, each individual individual parts of your picture sharpness definition is again it increase the dark areas so we'll we'll talk about less about that noise reduction is something if you are if you took the photograph in less light and if you use the noise reduction if you use the less light you will get those dots in black areas so dot white black white black dots in your dark areas so if you use this noise reduction so those dot and white dots in the black areas will become black so single color so those extra dots will go up so i'll use a little bit so if you can zoom and see yeah this is good and so this is the last thing we'll talk about this vignette the last option the last option is vignette this is something very interesting option so if you go plus value you will get a dark circle in the corners so if we observe there is a dark patch coming from the four sides so if you see most photographs if there is a dark shadow coming in the four, uh, four sides which gives a very good looking so you can add so if you add plus it gives you the dark if you do minus you will get white so you can you rarely you can rarely see the white so if you see white dark and white so that's how so i'll go back to so i after that i go back to my brightness and i'll increase little bit so see guys after this edit when you hit that image see what how much difference it makes if you see the clouds the blue the blue clouds you can see blue sky also you can see clouds also you can see the greenery the background colors and your face is also brighter and you have all colors so if you press this so this to this this to this we'll increase the zoom and this to this it's interesting this is like more professional kind of edit you can do you have a phone so i don't know about uh, i don't find these many options in android maybe there are separate certain apps available where you can do kind of these stuff but iphone will give you inbuilt app where you can edit the picture in a very professional way so hope you enjoy the video and 
see you in my next video until then be safe guys and bye